Hi everybody, it's Kayla and welcome back to Get Together. So today, this is what, part 30? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of parts. We, <laughs> That's a lot of parts. So we're doing some things today that are not exactly enjoyable and here's the deal. So we've been talking a lot about this whole Kate and Travis thing uh, for a long time because there was an incident a few parts ago, I don't know exactly when it was, where there was some suspected cheating going on. We were unsure, we didn't see it. Uh, people were just mad, lots of fighting were, was going on. And so we've just, this relationship has kind of been on the rocks for a long time. And now Kate is pregnant. Uh, I kind of skipped forward a few months. She's actually in labor right now. You'll see this in a second. So as you can see right here, it went away. But we are, we have gone into labor. Um, and just a lot is going on, you see. And it's kind of stressful. And oh, poor Kate doesn't look very nice. Uh, she looks really upset. But the relationship, they used to be completely full romantic and friendship boy, like friendship boys. I saw the club name and I said boys. Friendship bar all the way up. Uh, and now it is halfway for both of them. Uh, we are less hating towards Ingrid and uh, same kind of for him. So just things are not going over well in this relationship. And I feel bad because there are obviously kids involved. And so it's kind of scary to have this OTP we once had be so... Um, not doing so great anymore and I think this is kind of interesting because I got some comments last episode kind of I asked for help I guess I don't really remember what I said but people are saying how they like the idea of them splitting up just because of the fact that in most let's plays definitely that doesn't happen like it's all very like perfect family perfect life perfect everything and so the thought of this happening is kind of interesting but also it's kind of sad like we Travis and Kate have been like the only couple since the beginning that's like remained together, had no problems. And the fact that now things are kind of falling apart. And really, I blame myself and I blame, I blame Ingrid, to be honest. Like this mother-in-law thing ruined everything. And I'm not even kidding. Like I think if I hadn't moved to her, nothing would have happened. But alas, uh, she is a snob, mean, and perfectionist, and she is not an excellent woman to be around. And so uh, it's really hurt Kate. And I think like her pregnancy, this experience of living with, I mean, Ingrid's been here for a few years now. And so, oh, Sergio, <laughs> that's cute. That's real cute. Um, so the fact that this has all been happening for so long, just, it's a lot. And I kind of feel bad and just, I don't know, we'll have to talk it out, but I kind of feel like they won't get a divorce in this episode. I feel so weird talking about this and doing it because it just, it hurts me. But if we do get a divorce, I think it'll probably be in the next couple episodes. I want to kind of feel it out a little bit more, kind of talk to you guys. But I'm really feeling as though this relationship isn't working out anymore. And it's scary because there are kids involved. But I mean, they aren't, they don't hate each other. I just don't think that they necessarily are working as a married couple anymore. And so that's the problem. That's kind of where I'm standing here on this situation. And so I think they can still remain really close. I just, like, they won't be, like, fighting all the time, but just, um, I think that they need some space, which is kind of scary to think about. But we're going to go ahead and go to the hospital and actually have this kid. Um, I didn't scan her pregnancy, so I don't know if we're having a boy or a girl. Maybe I, did I? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. I feel, oh, well, <laughs> apparently I, I just randomized it because I thought, um, okay, if I'm being honest with you, um, I played a little bit off camera. And so I, and I also recorded this episode once already. And it just, I wasn't happy with how it was going, so I quit the game and started over. Um, and so I knew what the gender was going to be, and I wanted to be surprised. So I randomized. I, like, did with the pregnancy mod um, what you can do. Here, hold on, let me do it right now. I'll show you what you can do with this mod. Oh, people are, like, really excited about this. But you can come in here, and you can go pregnancy, and then you can set off spring. And I went to one child, because she had one kid, and I pressed random. Um, and then, apparently, it's a boy. That's lame. Uh, so I can, I wish I could do that again, but we're going to have a boy. Wait, exciting. Quinn's gonna, it was a girl last time, but not this time. So we're going to go ahead and go to the hospital and have this baby, uh, have baby at hospital. We're going to join her. Um, actually, I don't really want to join her. You know what? I joined her last time. I don't need to do that this time. Have baby at hospital. We're going to send her alone. Hopefully Travis goes with her. Uh, we'll wait behind with Quinn. Um, I imagine, because we'll bring Ingrid back. Ingrid, you, you got to get back here. You had to watch your grandkid. You're going to have another one in just a second. So we're going to come lecture her about misbehavior. Just be a typical, horribly mean woman. And just make me hate her even more. Because, I mean, Quinn, Quinn loves her grandma. But also, Quinn doesn't love her grandma very much. Because grandma's not very nice. I... She's not your typical grandma, you know? And I bet, I mean, Kate's parents are just not around. I, maybe they're dead. I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. I, I'm, they, they're dead. Car accident uh, a couple years ago. No grandparents in the picture on that side. So this is our only family, really. Oh, it's a boy. Okay. So I picked out a name, and it's going to be Colton. Colton Bartlett Bartlett Chain. It's a long name. <laughs> we'll just call him Cole. 
Cole Bartlett Chang. No, Colton. Colton Bartlett Chang. Colton Bartlett Chang. Cole. Hmm. Cole. Cole. I don't know what I'm, I'm just gonna say. Cole. We'll shorten it. And that was suggested by Heather. Thank you for that, Heather. Ow, I, I pulled my headphones out of my ears. That was very painful. All right, but that is my name. Thank you for that. And moving on from here, we get to meet our baby. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. So let's hope it gets here. <laughs> it gets here, he, he, it's a boy, it's a child, it exists. Humans, Kayla don't, I mean Sims, but let's let's be nice to it. So it's up, it'll be upstairs and it, I can't keep calling it that, him. Oh, it's another boy. So we have, oh, I pressed the M key. I have not pressed the M key by accident in so long. I just broke a streak. Somebody can go back and check that. It has been at least a month, okay? I mean, if you're new here, if you haven't seen some old series, or maybe you just don't know this yet because you're new, I press the M key oftentimes by accident and then it takes me to the map view, M for map, and it is incredibly frustrating and now, okay. Compose yourself, Kayla. We're gonna change this room though a little bit to be blue because gender roles and stereotypes, but just I like the idea of it not being bright pink. Maybe we'll make it like orange or something. I don't know. I just don't want it to be pink because uh, I feel like if they're having a baby too, they would have changed the colors because I mean, this is the room that obviously Quinn, I was gonna call her Kate, not Kate. Uh, Quinn lived in this room when she was a baby, so I think they would have changed it up by now, maybe. Oh, we can't change this one, but we can change this one to be a different color. Make this thing, like, the rainbow one. This, thing, this just looks a lot better with a more gender-neutral color. You see? Um, we'll make this be... Ooh. We'll do green. Ugh. Ugh. Not looking good here. All right, but that's better, right? No? Same. Okay, but we just had that kind of problem solved. And so we're moving on up here. Uh, we're going to keep lecturing our poor granddaughter. Um, ugh. And we have Cole now. Let's look at our family tree. So we have obviously Ingrid up here at the top, and we have these two nice, fine children down here at the bottom. Um, what? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I missing something? What? <laughs> <laughs> who is who is it? No, Amy or Naomi. Her name is spelled wrong. Who is she and why is she married to Travis Chang? What? What? Why does Travis have what sister wives? Oh my God! Why is he married? He can't be married to both of them. Kate Bartlett Chang married to Travis Chang. No, Amy Hess married to Travis Chang. Are you joking me? Is this what happened? Who even is she? We don't even know her! Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm panicking a little bit here, you guys. What the heck is going on? Is Travis a dirty cheater? Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. We're gonna see who this Noemi chick is right now. I didn't do this. This is a glitch. This is, what the heck? Oh, okay. What was just like a little bit of like, you know, cute, family problems, maybe having like some arguments. This just turned down to like, he has two separate families. Does Noemi have any kids? Are there any siblings we just don't know about Travis? Huh? Travis, you want to tell me about this? Who is this chick? I, oh, we, she, it, okay. Okay, everybody just calm down. I don't think you're freaking, okay, I'm freaking out. I don't think you are, but I am. Let's look for this Hess person. Um, Okay, okay, okay. We've got a person called Cole. We've got some Hodges. I'm looking for Noemi Hess. Daily heart. Did I skip it already? This woman. We're going to put her in a household. Right here. Daisy Hevel. Let's go. Oh, Houston, we have a problem. I'm going to have some strong words with this Noemi Hess chick. This this does not go over well here on Lil Simsy. We There are a few things we don't like. Number one, incest. Number two, polygamy. And number three, people named Noemi. What do, who do you think you are? I'm so, okay. Is she even cute? Okay, she is cute. That's concerning. Well, wait, no, no, she's not that cute. She's, Kate is so much prettier and she has yellow cheese hair. What? Four things. We don't like polygamy. We don't like incest. We don't like Noemi's. And we don't like cheese hair. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> We don't even know Travis! What the heck? Does it say that we're married to him? You cannot possibly be married to a person that you do not know! Okay. 
Kayla, usually I, okay, when things like this happen in my Let's Plays, I usually just talk it out, right? I try and justify it. I think, like, what could be happening here that could make this make sense? And the only thing that I'm thinking of right now is, like, maybe Travis, back when he was young and impressionable, when he was, like, 18, he married some woman, some, like, okay, isn't there a thing where you can, like, go to med school or, like, college cheaper if you're married? Like, is there, like, some marriage thing, university, college stuff in the U.S.? Like, that's a thing, right? So maybe he married Noemi Hess when he was young to try and get cheaper schooling and they just never got divorced and now he's married to a new person and, like, now she's just back? No, that doesn't make any sense. No, no, scrap that. He, what, okay. I can't even justify this. What do you guys think happened? First of all, what kind of a glitch is this? Who marries a random bartender called Noemi Hess who has cheese hair? And why is this happening to me of all people? Now, this is considered her stepmom? But what about your real mother? <laughs> Travis, what are you doing? Maybe, maybe Ingrid, like, set him up with her. Like, that would happen. Like, okay, either it was some sort of fake marriage, some sort of setup. Uh, maybe he's cheating on Kate with her. I'm not sure. Maybe they're just, like, maybe I can't see the relationship because he's just hiding it pretty well. Like, he's trying to keep it a very big secret from me. What kind of skills does she have? All right, I mean, she's kind of skilled. Um, she has no job. She's just some sort of, like, on-the-side bartender. Uh, she's got a cheap house. And, um, I honestly am feeling so attacked right now. What the heck? Of all the things, like, how does that even happen? I can guarantee you that I did not marry some chick called Noemi Hess. And, and, uh, well, you can't have two wives at the same time in The Sims. There's no such thing as polygamy. What the heck? Okay, 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 okay. I'm trying not to be too whiny because I, I know I have a tendency to be whiny and I don't want that to happen here except what the heck is this the reason we had that like cheating thing like Kate was so mad because she figured out Noemi existed why didn't anybody tell me about this sooner okay huh, I didn't even I was oh my goodness okay okay you guys this is an outrage I don't even want to go back into their household so clearly there's a lot more problems there than we thought initially. I think that maybe divorce, I'm feeling a lot better. Like, I, I don't like Travis right now. Like, I love Travis back in the day. Like, remember when I called him Trevor by accident because he didn't know his name was Travis? Like, I, we've had a long and rocky road, me and Travis, and now this is the last straw. Like, the fact that you would cheat slash fake marry slash really marry slash what is going on with Noemi Hess while you're still married to Kate? She's a great lady. She puts up with so much for you, and then you you do this to her? Okay. Okay. You know what? We're gonna let it go. I want comments. Pause the video right now and comment down below some things. Like, what do you think is going on here? What's the deal? Who is Noemi Hess? What does she want from us? Wah. And um, how can we solve this problem? Can we divorce her? You know what? Travis, you know what? I was gonna go, and we're gonna go hang out with Renee for a second, but... Honestly, I'd like to further pursue this. I want to go see if I can divorce her right now. I want to see, like, if I meet her, what what happens. Because we don't technically know her, so I don't understand. So we're going to go try and figure that out. Um, if I delete her, we could solve the problem instantly. But I'm not going to because Noemi Hess seems to have some tricks up her sleeve. Who is this chick and um, what is she doing here? Like, what's... Oh, my God. Okay. She's, like, new to town, too. I just put her in town. Like, she just moved to Willow Creek, like, right now. So interesting. So now Travis is going to, like... I mean, first of all, like, you just had a baby, and now you're, like, sneaky sneaking out to go meet your lover. Oh, you disgust me. He's a, he was supposed to be a nice guy. Like, he's just little Travis, and now here he is. Oh, this is, oh, this is the Castillo people. Oh, Myla, Mila, whatever her name is. Well, Noemi Hess, we're coming for you. And we're going to have, and we should have Kate come do this, honestly. But we're going to have Travis come talk to her so we can figure this out. But if nothing happens, Kate is going to come. You have no idea what Kate is like when she gets mad. And if this woman has been trying to steal her husband, the father of her two children, oh, we're going to have a problem. So, oh my god, this is ridiculous. Do we, like, should we introduce ourselves? Like, <gasps> Oh, she kissed his cheek. Who even are you? Who are you, woman? Ah, so you... so. <laughs> Romantic interest and spouse. Blue lock. I it's don't a flame. understand. <laughs> I can divorce her. 
but we are also married to Kate. Okay. Okay, you know what? This guy is married to two people at the same time. I just... What? What? I, all I can say is what? I'm gonna... Can I call this episode polygamy? Like, can I... Is that too real? Like, can I bring polygamy into the picture? Because that is... A, I mean, it's it's what's happening, but can I title the episode that? Like, to clickbait much, but also not really? Yeah. Who... Okay. Can I give her makeup really fast? Like, I... This woman. We gotta get a better look at her and see what her traits are and stuff. Like, I cannot believe that he would disrespect us in this yeah, way. Like, first of all, she's glutton. Are you kidding me? She's self-assured and she's a snob. Like, she is not a great lady. And here, if she's not even cute, she has cheese hair. Okay. We're gonna keep her hair the way it is. I'm gonna give her those eyebrows. Let's give her, like, some super slutty dress because she's the other woman. So, I'm gonna call the episode The Other Woman because that is great. We, now what kind of slutty dress could she wear? You know, like this one? It doesn't look very good on her. She's kind of pasty. Yeah, that's I, that's right. I call her pasty. That's what she gets for. <laughs> this is such a slutty. Why do I have this dress? Honestly, like, ugh. let me give her this dress. It doesn't even look good on her. I don't. I can't believe this lady exists. Oh, we'll give her this, and like some super high heels. Okay, I want to give her, like, I wish I could change. I wish I should have put in cast up a lot of mode so I could like make her look super plastic surgeried. You know, I'll do it off camera. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that right now and I like, show you guys Noemi has this new look, okay? Okay, you guys. So I, I gave her a bit of plastic mm. surgery. And if you will, I mean, she's had some work done. Um, talk about unrealistic body standards, am I right? Am I right? Yeah. So here's her new everyday outfit. You are all looking at the other woman, Noemi Hess. And we're gonna jump back into the game now. Oh my god. This chick is here to ruin my life. Remember what's his face? Oh my, Greeny McGee. Um, oh, I don't know his name. I don't know his name. We had that guy in 27.5 that was like here to ruin us. This is him, part two, the female edition, the life ruiner of all time. Look at her. Ugh. Okay, let's let's just come talk to Travis and see what he does. Like, let's come up here and we're gonna go and we're gonna try. Oh, he's gone. He blasted out of here real fast. You know what? I don't blame him. Because we are too hot to handle. Um, this guy. I mean, honestly, she's kind of cute looking now. Well, she looks a little bit much for me to handle. But also, um, she's feeling herself. And I am so not okay with it. This chick. I, he's married to two different people at the same time. And we take this, like, okay. From a storytelling perspective, do we take this, like, he's just cheating on Kate with her? Or is he legitimately married to this woman? Like, tell me down below. What do you think? What are we working with? And next episode, 100%. We're having a party for Quinn to age up, and also, uh, what's his face, this kid? Um, you know, Mr. Munch. And then we're gonna have, like, a joint teen aging up birthday party for the whole squad to come get together. And then, you know for a fact that Kate and the other girls are gonna go find out who Noemi Hess is, because Kate knows about her now. And so, I mean, she, we obviously know she was mad about something, and they must be Noemi. And so, you know for a fact that, like, Kate, Courtney, Julia, they're all gonna go out there, and they're gonna find this chick, and they will ruin her. So, that's next episode. I'm excited about that. Uh, but for now, we're gonna go see what Renee's up to. I guess Renee's gonna come in for the life ruining, too. But we're gonna go out, maybe go on a date with Renee. Uh, I know we didn't really get the chance to see Cole, but... I mean, we'll see him eventually. We've got plenty of time left with, like, a few episodes. Uh, but we're gonna come to Windenburg. Oh my god. Should we have... Wait... Uh, I don't, should we have the life ruining happen right now? Like, should we have Kate go out and spy on who this chick is? Or should we, let's have Renee go out. Okay, I was gonna have, we're gonna have Renee and Chris do it. I was gonna do just Renee, but Renee and Chris are gonna have their first, like, maybe realistic date. Uh, they've been kind of seeing each other for a long time. I'm kind of been feeling really iffy about them two together. We know that we dumped our ex-boyfriend, uh, what's his face? Mm, Chris and, uh, Charles Cobb. Alright, I always forget his name. But we dumped Charles Cobb for Chris, and not really for Chris, but we dumped him and then started dating Chris. And so, our longtime boyfriend, Charles Cobb, and now they aren't really, she's sort of like seeing Chris, but they aren't like official yet. And so they're gonna go out and be manipulative and um, ruin someone's life, hopefully. So we have obviously Kate probably called up Renee and was like, listen. You know all, see all, do all. You are like the leader of the pack. You are super rich, super, you know, well-connected. Figure out who this chick is and 
end her because we know that Kate just had a baby and she doesn't want her marriage to fall apart. That makes, okay, this is kind of coming together more. So we have this other woman coming in and now we're going to try and figure out who she is, what she's doing. We're gonna have like undercover edition, Renee going in and trying to ruin this. This is fun, oh my gosh. I did not expect this to happen in this episode. This was not the previous point. Like I didn't know this was going to happen to me, but you know what? I, my my anger is kind of like subsiding and now like storytelling Kayla's coming out and she's like talking about how she's gonna ruin somebody and that's my favorite thing to do so let's go back uh, we're gonna grab my two sims here uh, to clarify I'm gonna move out Austin and Courtney by themselves to their own little place pretty soon uh, just not today because we need some more time to figure that out too uh, but we're gonna come out here and we're gonna just go to Noemi's house we're gonna travel back to Willow Creek uh, and kind of step in and see what she's up to. We're gonna grab, obviously, oh, I forgot that he dated Courtney for a while. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's hilarious. I'm amused, but now we're just gonna, okay, okay. I need to take a deep breath, kind of gather my thoughts because this is just a mess. And this, I feel like I totally brushed Cole under the bus. Like, oh, Cole was born, that's okay, but what about Noemi Hess? And that's kind of scary. The fact, I mean, that kind of, plays into what's happening in their actual marriage, right? Is that their new baby is kind of being overshadowed by this woman who's coming in. Um, and we're gonna knock on the door and just let's let's look in though first and see if she's home. Like they're just doing some sneaky spy work, you know? Oops. Um, do you guys see Noemi in there? I don't see her. She was here a second. Oh, there she is. Look at her sitting in her treep little, ch her treep? her cheap little couch. So should we, how do we get her out of the house? I'm thinking like if this were real life, how would you go about getting her out of the house? Should we have, all right, Renee's gonna knock on the door and be like, hey, I'm, you're the new neighbor. Okay, so she must move into town. Renee's gonna pretend that they live in the neighborhood and they're gonna be like, hey, we're here to come see you. Let's knock on the door. This is my husband, wink, wink, Chris, you know? All right, there we go, they're gonna be married. And they're, okay, this is good for these two too because they can start like, officially dating after this, you know, like first chance. This is cute. Like look at them being all coupley, you know? <laughs> Destroying plotting against people together at the same time. But this okay. Noemi Hess, look at her. Can you believe this woman? Look, oh, who dates a mess like this? Oh, okay. I j <laughs> I'm so angry again. Oh, Travis, how could you do this to me and Kate? You know that Kate's my girl and you just came in here. Okay. Kayla, gather your thoughts again, compose yourself. All right, so we're gonna have Renee, I think just be very forward, like maybe introduce ourselves to her, be like, oh my God, Noemi, hey, I'm Renee, like what's up? And then we'll just get to know her a little bit better, maybe yeah, have a chance to talk to her. I cannot believe that she's dressed like this. Let's live at our career, obviously. She's bored. <laughs> Flatter her, maybe she would like that, wouldn't she? Uh, compliment her outfit. I know that Renee is very concerned with like being the top of the social ladder and um, she also wants to settle down and have a family but she just she wants to have everything you know that she that's her personality to have everything the best of everything and so uh, we're gonna oh okay well so we have the baby at home too so she's gonna like pretend like oh my god my daughter and her son Cole was just born get it like we're pretending that we yeah this is cute I imagine that uh, does Noemi know about Travis's babies like I don't I want to feel for the relationship more like I don't know what she's into like who she is what she does we need to like talk about this oh my god look okay this woman is actually uh <laughs> long story short this woman over here oh wait no it's not <laughs> that's not that I was going to say that woman is is uh Courtney's aunt but it isn't that woman's name is Liberty Liberty Moron Moran like Travis Moran Mor wait Travis Trevor <laughs> <gasps> Wait, I remember I messed up Trevor and Trevor before I did it again. Trevor Moran. Not Travis Moran. <laughs> Oops. I'm an internet kid, I swear. Okay, this is embarrassing. But we're kind of just sitting here and we're, like, we've infiltrated the enemy's house. We're talking to her. Now, she wouldn't expose that she's, like, dating someone who's married to us just yet, you know? We're just the new neighbors. And so we just gotta like kind of get it in with her. And now we can invite her out to the bars later. Cause we know this is her, like we know for a fact. So we're gonna maybe invite her out with Kate at some point and then like introduce her to our friends, I say in air quotes, and then we'll destroy her in the next episode. So 
I've kind of gotten a chance to meet her. Uh, Travis, no wait, not Travis. So the point is now we've had Renee and Chris had a really good time lying to this woman tonight and I think that they're a really good fit. Um, they've like really meshed well, kind of pretending to be this married couple and I think that they're gonna go for a walk in the park and start officially dating. Because right now they're just, as of now at least, they're just like, you know, not official. Just seeing each other, we're gonna ask her to be our girlfriend now. Uh, so that we kind of have that like relationship up in there. So remember how we wanted Renee to be the first one to get married and then it ended up being Travis and Kate now it's falling apart? <laughs> That's cute. So either way, I problem solved. We're working on it, you know? I just, this hurts me. My poor Sims, <laughs> this wasn't meant to happen. Can we just have like a nice, normal, happy life, you know? No, apparently not. But we're gonna really quickly just kind of ask her to be our girlfriend. Uh, make it official and we have, oh, Sergio's here. Oh dear. Sergio being Ingrid's little boy toy. Gross. Ugh, no me gusta. Okay, we're gonna go ahead romance maybe. Let's just, uh, let's kiss him and then we'll have him ask her, him, her to be our girlfriend. Uh, and he's like living with her right now, which is super weird, but oh look at that. Wow. PDA, PDA. We're going to quickly import in the part. Oh, wait, selfies. Yes, that's so cute. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I love it so much. I just, I love my screenies. You guys, you know I love my screenies. And I just, I can't get enough of them. I think it was a good episode. Sabotage. Um, horrible things happening. Officially dating people. Oh, my walls are down. That's okay. I'll put them up right now. Aha. Uh -huh. Just look at that. And now we had this super cute picture of the real OTP. These two are adorable. And I, all right. I like him better now. I can confirm that he is my new favorite boyfriend of Renee's in the past. And she's had two and he wins. So that's good. Look at how high this is. Like, honestly, and we aren't even dating yet. Ask yeah. to be girlfriend. Come on. Uh, yibs. Are we good? <laughs> Are we dating yet? Come on. Show me. Show me. Bimsy. We did. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's official. We're dating. Okay. And so he only knows three people. <laughs> his ex-girlfriend, his current girlfriend, and... um his ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend. <laughs> That's okay. Well, on that note, I'm going to end that part right here, you guys. Uh, comments down below about this woman that we need to figure out. This is just taking a turn for the worse. Uh, but <laughs> make sure to like and comment and subscribe and do all those funny YouTube things. I can't, my words blur together. I'm sorry. I talked too fast and get too excited. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.